All season one, I was begging for more Ark Bishops to show up. And just like Monkey Paw, where my wish gets answered in the worst way possible, gluttony and greed, Lie and Regulus shows up. Lie was there because his pet got subjugated after 400 years and finally found some nice snacks to, you know, feast on, like Rem's memories. Dude, Regulus? Apparently? There was no reason for him to be there, so that was just like pure unlucky. He just was there at the right time for no reason. I'm like, what? Or at least that's what according to Anius has said. Rem name memory in Krush, memory in Amnesia. Wilhelm, if you haven't seen the cut content with Wilhelm, I don't think this is spoilers, bro. He got injured with a person with the blessing of the Grim Reaper. If you go near that person, the wound opens up. If you don't, the wound closes for 14 years after Teresi has died and until the whale you know got subjugated that wound apparently has been closed but now it's opened up and guess what who gave him the wound it was Teresia apparently so what are we getting zombie Teresia back Edo Tensei Teresia someone possessing Teresia's body someone that just has that blessing I don't know I need to know more about how blessings and divine protections work but there's so much lore in the first episode it's crazy what's the goal right now we have an alliance still and my theory is that it should be something as simple as you know how like when Subaru got bit and he got cursed in order for those curses to not go off simply just kill the witch fiend so in that same sense is it possible to kill the archbishop of gluttony and then return the name and memories of other people. I don't really know. We also have to go to the sanctuary and get some answers out of Roswell. Let's begin today's reaction. Emilia, Samaya, Natsuki, you can get it. I don't know. Thank you very much. But, when you come back to the village, you can get back to the back of the Roswell. Roswell. Exactly. We need to talk to that fucker, dude. I'm sorry. So big. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Emilia should be like. I hope I can finally repay my great debt to you. That's right, bitch. You got a debt you could never pay back to me. Patrash kiss. Okay. Very rough skin. What is the reward? Is the reward Patrash? Well, uh, we got a great reward. Did we get a reward? Did we get money? What the fuck did we get out of it? Saving Amelia for sure. I'm not sure what that really refers to. Is it Patrash? Saving Amelia? Patrash, okay. Mm. Is that gate okay? Dude, the gate being busted is still happening? Where are they going with this? Cause like, I feel like this is intentionally just like delayed and stalled out. Two months still to recover? But if he uses Shamak, then everything gets fucked up again? <laughs> Come on, man. You know it's gonna happen, man. Okay. There were some hesitancies there. Yeah? Okay, Amelia development? <laughs> so like, he blushed there? Did he think that if he shook the hand in front of Amelia, it'd be cheating? Therefore he tapped it. Was that what this is? Because he shook the hand before when Amelia wasn't there after Will's subjugation. What, 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 why did he tap it? Out of what? What would be the social implication here? Because he's hand shook her before. But right now with Amelia here, I, I don't know, man. My headcanon is he thought it was cheating on Amelia, so he tapped it. He's being a faithful dog right now. Otto. Bye, Wilhelm. Kind of crazy how the anime doesn't tell us about Wilhelm's injury with the blessing of the Grim Reaper. That is still insane to me. Like, Wilhelm finally trusted Subaru so much that he felt like he could tell him that. A 
apparently before they left, right? In the source material, but they just leave this shit on the anime? Do they even mention it in season two? If they never mention it, that's some crazy shit they're doing because maybe it's gonna become relevant in season three? I don't fucking know. I'm creeped out by it. <laughs> at first, at first, it was a little uncomfortable, but. Oh. Nothing like a good old Stockholm syndrome, bro. Now we're grooming her. She's become so used to the creep that she just accepts it now. Man. <laughs> Super Rain beating the grooming allegations at this rate. <laughs> Alright. If I show my weakness in front of you, Emily, a ton. Sugoku. Sugoku. <laughs> no! Otto! Cock blocking us right now. What are you, what are you doing? Eyes on the road, Otto. What are you doing? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean, break time also said. The pride of a merchant will allow Otto to fight against multiple Roswalls. Now, it's just a fucking chibi cannon short, but imagine Otto versus Roswall. <laughs> How would that even work? He tries to run him over with a carriage? No. <laughs> now then, where were we? <laughs> I hope so too. Yeah, but who else isn't being selfish? Everyone is being selfish, and that's totally fine, but Amelia is such a pure, innocent angel, and even her, like, selfish desires, what are they? To have equality for everybody. To make sure that no one else has to face the same level of discrimination and prejudice that she has experienced growing up. That's selfish? Be selfish, then. <laughs> Imagine we get there, because like all of season one, I was like, where's Roswell going? Why is he always AFK? Finally, he's at the sanctuary, we can talk to him. Imagine he fucking AFKs, he just leaves. I'd be so mad. He needs to give us answers. <sighs> Where is the sanctuary? This is back at our village. Uh oh. Let's go there. <laughs> this is like the classic dialogue of where the audience doesn't know, but in order for there to be an excuse to explain, right? The main character will be like, yeah, I never knew, so what is it? Secret base. Secret base? Okay. Okay. Where's Biko at? Tadaima. Okari. Wait, wait, what do you mean robbed? I don't like this. I don't like this. This is so dark on the left side. What if this, what if the like, dark bishops have raided our mansion already? Useless deadbeat dad. That's a voice huh? I've never heard before. Oh no, we have seen her. We saw her. We've heard of her as an old maid, right? There used to be a maid before Rem and Ram. And then in season one, there was a picture where she was there. I remember. What picture was that? It was some kind of picture book in season one. 
She got the same teeth. Yeah, REM flashback. She got the same teeth, the jacket teeth, like uh, Lai does. Archbishop of Gluttony. <laughs> Sharp. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> Immediately insult probably a demi-human if she has those teeth. And then it gets pinched by the ear. <laughs> yeah. Bowman. Yeah, it must be her, right? Okay. Yeah, because no one's taking care of it. <laughs> Ram fucked everything up. <laughs> no, Ram was too busy. She left, right? She couldn't take care of keep the place because, like, she had to go to the sanctuary and, you know, um, and run out. <laughs> but I guess during the time of Arc 3 when Ram wasn't here and it was just Ram at home, this is probably all of that, huh? Yeah, this is all of that. When it's just, this is all of Arc 3 when we were never here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Ram don't give a fuck. They all forgot. Maybe. Maybe they hated each other, who knows? What will he do? Russell will probably say some clown line and just play it off, but... At the end of the day, it just seems like he always knows what's up, and everything is still according to his plan, so who knows, bro. I will probably be shocked. Just two people in the world enough to ram. So my suspicions on Biko being a spirit because Biko made a contract with Subaru and how Puck makes contract with you. Okay. So Biko is a spirit. Revealed. Ram and Biko. That's what Roswell trusts the most. Even if Biko and, and Roswell are like at odds against each other, but okay, interesting. Also, the great spirit. So, lore wise, is it true that there's only four great spirits? Because Puck is the great spirit of fire, right? It's crazy because ice powers, but it's all about taking away heat or applying heat, right? Is there four? There's no lore. Why did I say there was four? Is it there's popularized there's four? Four are special amongst them. Okay, there's many great spirits, and Puck is one of the like the most renowned great spirit. One of them, I guess. But Biko is a great spirit. Got it. Real Lolly, where you at? Hey, long time no see. Hello, Kashira. Oh, there she is. Oh, that little sass, bro. Biko is so great. I love her so much. She doesn't have that much screen time, though, because she's probably super important. I hope she gets more development this season, though. You know what I do right now? <laughs> Show Bieko the gospel. Show Bieko the gospel and ask. So I wrote in the gospel with my blood. Does that do anything? Bieko, do you know anything about the gospel? Betty never cries. Lab pillow. Lab pillow meme still. We're never, we're never getting over that, bro. What is he thinking? Biku knows. Yes, Biku indirectly confirmed it. When that one time, when Biku sent Subaru and Amelia out the portal, right? He said, even if my future is like, I'm different from Roswell. I'll do this even if my future is not secured. Implying his futures are secured even in those fucked up runs, which makes no sense. Oh. Half beast, so she is. The jagged teeth that made a guess of being like a demi-human. So can we then also assume that Lai, the gluttonous... Archbishop is also a demi-human, half-beast, consuming jagged teeth. 
immense physical powers at 13 years old. Maybe? Maybe? Just the teeth being jagged, but yeah. What is the soundtrack, bro? One more, one more, one more. My connection with Roswell has nothing to do with the current circumstances. Okay, because what do we know? Biaku and Roswell has made a contract where Biaku acts as the gatekeeper of this forbidden library to hide Roswell's lolicon dojin. Gospel time. Show the gospel, please. It's happening! <laughs> Damn, look at that, bro. The voice acting changes immediately. The voice acting cha Vehicle getting so emotional and like just direct is always so high, bro. Oh my god. So if we look at the gospel, what does it look like to you? Just like the cover. Just a black book. In the middle, there's some generic designs. And we're at 1104 right now. Let me just rewind back to when Biako was reading her book. Let me see. Just don't want to see the designs. Nope. Just completely random other patterns. I don't know. I, I have no clue what this fucking gospel is supposed to be other than like a set of instructions, right? Some sort of guide for the archbishops to follow in order for the day of the ordeals to come through. <laughs> Mention is sin, sloth. And very important. Wrote in the gospel with our blood. This cannot be a random thing. There must be meaning here, especially in a show like ReZero. Then you've left me behind too, I suppose. But how would she know it's Betrigus, specifically, if she's referring to that person? Can she tell that this is the gospel of sloth, Betrigus? Because this is directly implying someone's left who just died, boosted. What the fuck? If we remember Frozen Bond, there is a figure that looks like Betrigus, but his face is normal, and he has longer hair on the side, and he looks like an Ikeman, and he's holding what I assume is someone related to Amelia. Big sister, mom, aunt. I don't know, but Goose, bro, what is this connection here? Juice. Oh! It's not Goose, it's Juice. Okay, it's Juice. <laughs> How did you know it was Sloth? I don't know. Biku just immediately knows after seeing the fucking the uh the 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 the, the gospel. What happened to his witch factor? You don't know what it is? You really don't? Then why did you bother to kill Slot? Because we wanted to save Amelia. But Biku immediately assumed that if you're trying to kill an Archbishop, you're trying to steal the Witch Factor. Anyone that tries to kill or contest the Archbishop, they're after a witch factor. She's, she's confused why you didn't even bother. Really? I thought it was all about protecting a million and be common sense to be cool. Me too, bro. Tell me right now. You, you have the answers. Do you really make me go to the fucking sanctuary for all this shit? But the meaning of the gospel. I don't know what Roswell's intention is, but the gospel, I feel like it's still just a set of instructions or a guide that Beatrice is looking at to, you know, give Satala the love. Which Frederica. This is very serious. Why? She's mad as fuck. Baker's mad. Probably very upset that 
Juice has now left her too. This means that Biko and Betrugius were friends in the past. But something bad happened. He got a witch factor. He turned to an archbishop. And he's upset that Subaru didn't even know what the fuck the witch factor was. Why did Baji kill him? Why did old friend that turned bad? Biko, what the hell is your lore? How the fuck? This is so interesting. She's genuinely upset. I have the right to refuse to tell you. I will not tell you. Huh. Biko was also hiding a very interesting deep sadness in Memory Snow, right? At the end, Roswell was telling Biko, but like, you know, Natsuki Subaru seems to be making a little bit happy. There was something else there too, but like, this is so much lore. This is so much information that she has, but yes, we gotta go to the sanctuary. <laughs> I never thought of you just as a tool. I thought that we could be friends, Biko. Oh. And like, she's probably grieving over Betrugius, right? He's upset about that shit. She thinks that she's just being used. Man, this is sad. What is going on, Biko? <laughs> Thank you, Otto, for being the comedic break right now. <laughs> Poor Otto. Exactly. Biko said it's been a long time since I've last cried. But this, passing a bet to the goose and how she thinks that Subaru is using her as a tool just to get information. <sighs> Not like this, Troll Lolly. Frederica. Allowed? We just barge in. Amelia Blazing? Oh, okay, okay. Amelia Glazing Subaru, okay? I wanna know too. オケ。ロジキ yeah, we need to go with Frederica to the sanctuary. Biko did say it. Alright. Two days and go to sanctuary. <laughs> おっと。あ、察しが悪いですね、夏木さん。そうですね。Man, <laughs> so much more Otto like characterization too. Like this is again a pretty significant side character, huh? Like Otto is very important. Sanctuary of Kremaldi. Is Kremaldi also a constellation? Kremaldi. What does that mean? What's the name of the sanctuary? But is it like a star? Just like everyone's fucking names in this show. One name. <laughs> They're missing the D? Garfield? Is there a fat orange cat that's gonna kill us and eat our lasagna? What do you what do you mean, Garfield? Alright, rem remember Garfield. Uh oh. Sound like Garfield's kind of a problem. You must exercise with the most care. Alright, don't fuck around around Garfield. Rem, you there? No, you're not. Rem's gonna stay here while we go to the sanctuary. Pecking order. Pecking order. Pecking order. <laughs> what just happened? Rem is benched. Rem is literally benched. Petra has been showing affection to Subaru for a while. <laughs> She's in a fucking maid outfit now. 
<laughs> she is so down bad for Subaru. <laughs> Again, it's Patras and Petra probably over Rem at this point, with Amelia being at the top. New recruits. <laughs> Didn't you guys tell me this arc is like the entire season? This 25 episodes have just... Well, who knows if we're gonna you know, stay at the Sanctuary for the entire time, but alright. Okay. Plus one job, child labor, let's go. Child labor, baby. No, I will not treat you like an adult. You are an illegal lolly to me. Get out of here. <laughs> okay, so Bieko has just gone into complete hiding. Usually, Subaru can just figure out where Bieko is. I still don't really know how that shit works. Maybe there's some sort of connection with the witch and Bieko and Subaru, and that's how he can figure this shit out. But if she tries, she can just hide herself forever. Ah, <laughs> Beatrice. Petra knows it, right? あいつのことも気にしてやってくれ。とするかもしれないから。ちょっとスバル様、私にお願い多くない。分かってる。本当に申し訳ない。You're the、あとは、You have the location and the qualification. Location is the sanctuary, but the qualifications to enter the sanctuary. That's interesting. And then you need to resolve in a strong will. Interesting dialogue. Resolve. Okay. Yeah. Blank. What, what, what is this shit? <laughs> what? Uh. White handkerchief. Okay, 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 it's a prayer for safety. I thought Petra was doing something, I don't know, too flirtatious and just like, if you bring it back, then it's like, you're getting married no matter what, but okay. Is this a flag? Petra gonna die? Is Petra gonna die? Is she gonna have her eye scouts out when we come back again? If, the, if, 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 in, if any other run, Petra gets her eye scouts out again, that is no longer an outlier. That's an actual fucking pattern of behavior, right? The first time, yeah, in season one, I'll let it go, right? I will let the eyes being gouged out go. But if her eyes gets gouged out again this season, it's just like, no. There's something special about these eyes. Okay. <laughs> because this is very intimate for Petra, and it's basically you, like, accepting her love or some shit. <laughs> Grows more dangerous as night approaches? Okay. You got the white handkerchief. Huh? This is all Roswell's plan. Everything is still Roswell's plan. Roswell wanted Subaru to take a million and come here. Okay. Okay, okay. That's, that's, okay, again, I just need answers from Roswell because like, all of his actions are just so mysterious and sometimes goes against his overall goal of making Amelia queen and slaying the dragon, but this guy just puppeteering everything behind the scenes. Overcomes the sanctuary. What do you mean, overcome? The sanctuary sounds like a place you just go to chill and have fun and be happy. Sanctuary, right? Happy, happy, safe spot. But it's just like, all right, you got the location. You got the qualification. Now you need a resolve and a strong will. Overcome the sanctuary. What kind of fucking trials or ordeals are you going to put us through? What are you talking about? 
I feel like I have the wrong idea of what a sanctuary is right now. Because I thought this is just some nice, happy place where people are chilling. <laughs> There's nothing we can do but pray. What's that gonna happen? Do we have to fight Garfield? He's gonna fucking kill us? Like, like what? No puck? Oh, he really being a deadbeat this season. Oh my god. Puck really just fucked off after giving us Lord Dump last episode, huh? He did say take good care of Amelia, and we do know that Puck has an oath, so... Alright, excuse. Yeah, take care of her. <laughs> Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, it's it's nice that I'm looking to protect us for sure. I mean, you remember Frozen Bond, Amelia, right? Frozen Bond, Amelia was so fucking strong. That Amelia is unhinged, bro. Garfield. Did he? Roswell specifically mentioned Garfield's name? He did mention a few times that he's gonna go see him. Well, those are scenes that I never saw in season one. Sanctuary? The Lost Woods. She's shaken. So you guys really challenging me right now and saying Garfield was the person in the kingdom? Garfield was in the kingdom, so Garfield was in the sanctuary? In Arc 2, when he left, he said he gotta go talk to someone he doesn't like in the officials in the kingdom, right? You tell me Garfield was in the kingdom and then went to the sanctuary? Maybe Garfield moves around a lot, I don't know. But, uh... I don't know, some people are just capping or just, like, do you know what you're talking about? Or are you just like inserting your headcanon trying to fucking correct me? He, he said officials, bro. He said he went to the kingdom. Did he never say kingdom? I'm pretty sure he did. He said that he'd go talk to officials or some shit. And a bunch of motherfuckers were like, yep, he's going to the kingdom. Like, that's what you guys said. So here's the thing, right? I just get gaslit every fucking day by schizo motherfuckers that claims that they've read the light novel and claims that they've watched the anime. And like the same people, like the same three people that claims that they've done the same shit will give me three separate answers. That's why I never listen to chat. You guys are just fucking monkeys. Straight up, you are. Nice voice acting. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Wait, did you hear that? <laughs> That was very cute. Oh, look at me. <laughs> very cute Amelia since today. I don't know why this is still in my head, but remember when we subjugated the white whale? What did Roswell then do? It was then stated that he went to the sanctuary at that point. I'm pretty sure he went to meet some officials in the city. And then after we subjugated the whale, then he went to the sanctuary, right? Why would you make a fucking specific moment of he went to the sanctuary at that point if we were told that he left to go meet officials before? You know? Now you're double telling me that you went to the sanctuary twice. Does that make sense to you? I don't think it does. Hmm. Is there a different half-elf? Remember? The uh, cult members were apparently going around slaying multiple half elves, right? Just killing half elves here and there just to see if there's a compatible vessel for Satala. There's a half elf in the sanctuary? I mean, Dark Amelia. Maybe Dark Amelia is a half elf. I don't know. She just looks like Amelia with black clothing. It's glowing. The barrier stone. <laughs> Doesn't this mean that the, the, the protection stone is working? Because that, that's the one that lets us pass through the barrier, right? That he takes it off of her and then she passes out. Did he cause that? 
did, did he just make Amelia pass out because you're supposed to leave the necklace on? I don't know. It just looks like Subaru yoinked the fucking barrier passing necklace and now has passed the barrier himself. What the fuck was that, dude? You, I feel like we should have trusted the process, but all right, let's keep going. Garfield. Hello. Pointy, pointy ears? Pointy ears? Half elf? Elf? I don't know. It got pointy ears though. Mm. Sanctuary? Looks like some kind of ruins. Roswell, you in here? Garfield, you in here? Hmm. Should we be doing this? Right now? Oh, oh. Is this the same voice as Frozen Bond intro voice? Yes or no? I don't mind that spoiler. In fact, give me a confirmation right now. Is this the same voice as a Frozen Bond voice? Ah? Uh, okay, okay, okay. So this is the person that Puck made an oath with. Okay, okay, okay. <sighs> Root of your desire. I didn't say anything. Oh, yeah. Windows XP background means... Dark Amelia, right? She got the tea party going on, right? Yeah, because the season two trailer that we saw, right? The season two trailer, there was just like a huge pile of bodies leading up to this tea party moment, right? Who are you? Yo, it's just Amelia dark mode. Light mode Amelia. Dark mode Amelia. Echidna. Which, okay. But, but wait, wait. But the Witch of Envy consumed all, all the witches in the past, and they're all dead. But this could be some sort of like spiritual domain shit, right? Where the souls can fucking exist or something. Because we were in the ruins and suddenly we went pop here. So, Witch of Greed, Echidna. Okay. Anything else? The next location? And that is today's episode and that's why a kid that's why a kid nuts channel is a kid nut because he uses a kidna in the profile picture but he cooms to a kidna therefore is a kid nut ah <laughs> it's all coming together it's all coming together and that's the episode ladies and gentlemen this is not the dark amelia it's a kidna the witch of greed I don't see her ears being pointy here, but that's very interesting because remember, the Witch of Envy apparently consumed all six other witches and then just ravaged half the world, right? And then she got sealed away by the hero, the dragon, and the wise man, the sage. But like, Echidna is here, so I don't know exactly what kind of realm we're in, but hey, we're in the Windows XP area that we saw in season two trailer. What is some really important shit that happened today? I, I guess the most important lore is this Biko, right? What is it? Witch Factor. And how Biko calls Goose Juice. And how sad she was about, oh, I guess he's left me too. There is some sort of past relationship with Better Goose and Biko. We've already seen presumably Better Goose in the Frozen Bond. So there was like slight like memory frames. So maybe they were past friends or something, but Goose got crazy and got consumed by the love for Satala and became like that. But the witch factor, witch factor. If you kill Sloth, a Sin Archbishop, what happened to his witch factor? If you didn't even bother taking it, then why would you bother even killing him? So that's an interesting thing. I don't know exactly what a witch factor is. And maybe the cut content will explain, or maybe I'm not supposed to know right now. But it's seeming like in order to become an Archbishop, you need to have a witch factor. And beyond that, I don't know. Where did the witch factor go? Is it within us right now? Maybe 
writing the gospel with our blood did something to the witch factor. Maybe the witch factor is lost forever because we just killed them and just left behind. I don't know. This is this is getting fucking sweaty, man. Biku was very upset by that. She started to almost cry, right? Because Obviously, like, she's probably grieving for a past friend, and she said that, like, um, you're using me as a tool, and it is kind of like that. Whenever we need answers, we just show up to the library and just kind of call her drill lolly, and there's some cute moments, but I'm not a tool here for your convenience. It's very sad. Yeah, and there's, like, this deep sadness in Biko that we saw in Memory Snow OVA as well, so I hope that Biko will have her time to shine in this season, but maybe she doesn't. She just seems to be a very, very important character, and Roswell, man. Roswell told Frederica to do all of this, so everything again is still within the whims of Roswell. We are all just being puppeteered like this. It's just like, what the fuck is happening? The sanctuary is apparently something that we must overcome. You know the location. You need the qualification. Then it's a matter of resolve and willpower to overcome the sanctuary. What the fuck does that mean? Are we in the sanctuary right now? I don't know. Subaru just meets the Witch of Greed after entering these ruins. And Echidna says, hmm, so that is the root of your desire. The root of his desire stems from his simping for Emilia. So I guess Echidna recognized that and just wants a conversation because she's been here alone for a long time. The Witch of Greed, what do we know? We know there's an Archbishop of Greed. There's the Witch of Greed. I'd like to understand exactly what the relationship is between an archbishop and a witch of the same sin. Well, that's it for me, man. If you're still here, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for even more content. And until next time, take care.